2022, I posted a video where I recreated some of my favorite book covers using AI. At the time, the AI I used was pretty basic. And if I'm 100% honest, the covers I created using it were pretty rubbish. But since that video, AI has improved significantly and impacted the artist industry as a whole. Down the line, I updated the description of that video, saying AI in time will have a huge impact on not only book covers, but the words inside the book too. I also mentioned that this topic could be a video all on its own. Well, this is that video. It's time to take a closer look. I'm going to give this topic the attention it deserves by looking at the impact AI is having or potentially will have on the book industry. On a side note, while researching and writing the script for this video, I realized that this video needs to be put into two parts because there are two sides of the book industry that need talking about. First of all, the covers or the artwork for books, and then the words inside the book itself. So this is going to be part one and part two, we'll talk about the words within the books. So let's get to it. Let's talk about book covers or any artwork that could be created alongside a book release. You know, promotional graphics, GIFs, Instagram posts, etc. While right now AI does a lackluster job of creating new artwork, you can bet in time it's going to catch up. So let's give this topic the proper attention it deserves by explaining how AI art is created in the first place. To create AI art, code is written to learn from thousands of existing images or artwork. When certain parameters are input into the program, for example, when you upload a photo of yourself and then select a style of artwork, or you put in a string of words, the AI program will use your input and what it has learned from the images it's already scanned through to create something new. This means the AI program has to learn from existing artwork to create something new. Thousands and thousands of existing artists' work and styles are used as data. Depending on the program, the person who has written the program will choose what artwork it wants to input into it for the AI to learn from as inspiration. They could pick artwork with a specific style, artwork from one artist, or a huge variety of artwork with loads of different styles. It's up to them. And because there are no real regulations on this right now, the world is their oyster. Can you tell that so far I've tried to remain objective? This video, if I just talked about AIR in general, could be incredibly long. So let's just focus on the book industry. When it comes to publishers and the book covers they produce, using AI could be a way to cut costs. After all, you can use a tool online for free or an incredibly low cost to create cover art that is working its way to looking honestly genuine. Any argument against this will say that the artwork is noticeably off looking. It's hard to edit due to it being a static and flat image and is hard to scale due to the digital size of the final image. But for the sake of this argument, I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say that none of this is gonna be an issue. Developers will create smarter programs that will allow for scaling probably at a cost, and they'll probably add features that will allow you to change specific elements whenever you want. After all, look how far they've already come in 2022 alone. So we're not talking about quality here. If a publisher wanted to use an AI program to create a cover artwork rather than a human artist, I am sure they would make the steps to do it, even if it costs them a little bit of money to pay for an advanced program, especially if it saves them money compared to hiring a human artist. However, the question is, would they actually do it? Would a publisher like Penguin, HarperCollins, or Macmillan publish the majority of their books using AI artwork? I would like to think they wouldn't, not without disclosing it anyway. People like me and you who care about the books we read also care about the cover. After all, we judge books based on them and buy books based on them. Heck, we even pay for special editions. So if I found out that a book that I loved had a cover that was created by AI artwork, I would want to know. And if it was done by AI, I would want to know it was done ethically. But here's the thing, I say this, but it's already being done. I'm looking at you, Macmillan. 
Tor Publishing, an imprint of Macmillan, got some serious backlash last year when it came under fire for using AI art on the cover of Christopher Paolin's book, Fractal Noise. It took a little while for people to notice, but honestly, when you look closely, it's pretty obvious. Tor issued a statement not long after, saying that their in-house designer used a licensed image to create the cover they didn't realize was created by AI. This begs two questions. One, why wasn't it labeled as AI art on Shutterstock? And two, how did the in-house designer not realize it was AI when they literally had to paint the legs on? Properly labeling AI art is a discussion all on its own, but if publishers are already mistaking AI art for human artists and using stock images in their cover artwork, then who's to say this isn't already happening more and more? Especially because Tor's reaction to the criticism wasn't to redo the cover, but to stick with it. When authors basically don't have a say in how their covers are created, which maybe I should do a video on that, it's only up to the publishers and the people at the top to decide what the cover artwork will contain. And whether we like to think about it this way or not, the publisher's main goal is producing books and making money. What I think it will take and what I think should happen is that publishers should post a statement on their website indicating their stance on AI art. Transparency is important no matter the industry, but when the decision is made by the people at the top, who knows what kind of decision they'll actually make. Then there's the self-publishing industry, and here's where I think AI art is going to come into real focus. Within the self-publishing industry, there are a huge number of budding authors writing and selling their own books. These authors, for the most part, don't have the same budget as a publishing house when it comes to creating cover art, so if there's a way to create compelling cover art for a fraction of the cost, you're gonna bet they're gonna use it. Just like when programs like Canva paved the way for amateur designers to create presentations, social media graphics, and so much more with ease, AI art generation tools will do the same for indie authors too. After all, there are already articles out there listing the best AI cover art tools for indie authors. These tools can be used on everything from cover art to chapter art, concept images, social media images, and more. Honestly, there's no limit, and for such a disgustingly low cost, there's no reason not to. Except, there is. Earlier, I explained how AI art works, that it uses a pre-existing set of artwork as data to create its artwork. Here's the problem. That data set is unknown. No rule or regulation states that the people who create these AI programs must disclose the artwork they input. So if you're an artist and your art has been used to inform an AI art program, you'd never know. Let me put it this way if you can't see a problem with that. You're an artist of whatever form. You've been spending hours and maybe weeks creating a piece of artwork that you're proud of. You may have even been compensated for it in some form, or you may have sold it. Then a developer somewhere puts together a program that scans artwork to create AI art, adds yours in and creates AI art without them actually having to create any artwork themselves. You're never compensated for your artwork or your style, it's just kind of taken from you. If it's possible to use AI tools to emulate the style or distinctive elements of an artist's work, then does it infringe on their copyright, trademark, or intellectual property rights? At the moment, there's nothing that says it does, but that will likely change, and hopefully fast. Then of course, there's the moral or human, or should I say not human side of AI art. At its core, AI is an imitator. It's not human. It has no understanding of concept and it doesn't understand as a human does. So what it creates has no limit. It's not sensitive to current events and it can't tell you if the artwork is 100% unique. Only a human can do that. Honestly, AI art is a difficult subject and there's no better demonstration of this than Hayao Miyazaki. Hayao Miyazaki is the co-founder of Studio Ghibli, a master storyteller, animator, director, producer, screenwriter, author, and manga artist. If you've seen Spirit Away, My Neighbor Totoro, or my personal favorite, Whisper of the Heart, then you know what I'm talking about. Miyazaki avoids computer-generated art in his films at all costs. He prefers the role humans play in creating genuine, hopeful, and gentle animation. 
So when he attended a presentation at the Dwango Artificial Intelligence Lab in Tokyo on the AI-generated animation they put together in 2016, you can imagine he wasn't impressed. I'm going to be honest with you, the full clip is hard to watch, but if you want to watch the full thing, I'll leave it in the description of this video so you can watch it later. Miyazaki doesn't hold back. His disdain for this form of animation is clear. But for Miyazaki, at least in this situation, he isn't disgusted because AI takes away work from artists, although I'm sure he feels that way. He's disgusted because the animation is done without thought, without depth of feeling and human connection he values so highly. Essentially, the AI looks fine on the surface, but it's missing something. The same goes for all these AI apps and generators we use online and I used in my video. The art can generate in seconds, but it wasn't done with care. It's void of emotion, of intention, it's empty. That's not what art is about. Art is an expression of the artist. It's hard work, years of experience, it's human thought and care. AI is none of those things. Something is missing from AI art. The algorithm may be able to produce appealing images, but they exist in an isolated, creative space that's void of any human emotion whatsoever. On the other hand, human artists are inspired by people, places, and politics. They make art to tell stories and make sense of the world as we know it. But let's not get 100% doom and gloom, because there are a few ways AI art could be used in the book industry for positive reasons. Because just like anything else, AI art could be a useful tool when in the right hands. Like it or not, many book cover artists now use stock imagery as part of their designs. This can either be used as one element of a design, say a floral border, or be manipulated to create something new. A stock image of a sitting woman could be used with a completely new setting, wearing different clothing, having different hair and lighting, etc. AI art could be used in the same way. Artists could ask AI to generate part of an image they can either use as inspiration for theirs, or manipulate to use within their finished piece, just like stock imagery. It could also be used by authors during the writing process to visualize settings, characters, and concepts. Imagine having a fantasy world live inside your head, but being able to translate it into something visual while writing using AI art. This artwork doesn't have to be sold, it's just a tool for the author to use while creating. The use of AI art in the book industry is complicated. The use of AI art in general is complicated. And until there are legal safeguards in place, there's going to be a lot of confusion. For now, I've unpublished my AI cover art video. The improvements in AI since that video have skyrocketed. What once was something a little silly, showcasing AI, has now soured for me. It has no place on YouTube. I'll be working on a part two video about AI and using that for the words inside the book really soon, so stay tuned for that. But you tell me your thoughts on AI art in the book industry in the comments below. This is an open conversation as far as I'm concerned, but everyone, please be civil. And if you like this deep dive video, then you'll probably like the video that's on screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.